Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And to me, ceramic is one of those wonder materials, kind of like titanium or carbon fiber. It's not necessarily rare or made out of anything really unusual. It's just uh, a great material that has all kinds of applications. Ceramics are used, you know, in a, probably every industry for uh, an unbelievable number of things, as well as, of course, you know, using it, tiles, coffee cups, uh, you know, a lot of appliances have, have ceramic components, electronics, um, but it also makes a great knife sharpener, or actually a knife honer, and that's where I'm going with this. Uh, many times when you use a knife, the blade gets dull, and a dull blade does not necessarily mean it needs to be sharpened. It may just need to be honed, and a lot of times that's all you have to do. And I've got a couple here I'm going to show you. Um, many times... Um, the, the process of sharpening removes a lot of metal or metal and over time, you know, creates a different blade profile, even makes the knife unusable after a while. But, um, you know, especially if you're using grinding wheels or belt sanders or something else. But honing, all that's doing is basically, if you think of this under a microscope, the blade, you've got this metal edge and the metal edge can get a little wider. The, sh the narrower it is, the sharper it is. Well, the little bits of pieces at the, at the molecular level of metal can get spread out. And when they get spread out, um, it creates a thicker area, meaning it doesn't feel very sharp, like this one at the moment. Um, but honing can both push and polish those back into place until they're again very sharp. So I took this knife, it's a buck, it's got a... Um, I think this is is a uh, 420C steel, um, not sharp, um, and and I'm you know cutting some logs. Eventually, I'll get through this, you know, kind of dulling it down. Uh, here's a piece of paper. You can see just how sharp it is. There we go. Cut into it that time. Anyway. Um, but I can use a ceramic to uh, just line the blade back up again, keep it going. I don't need to do much else, it happens really fast. I've got a couple of different ceramics here. Things like this are diamond stones. Diamond stones are great too. Uh, they're good for metal removal, but a little aggressive for just honing. Um, this is a, uh, a Japanese ceramic rod. Uh, I like it because it's very thick. Put links for a couple of these on on um, in the description. This one sells for it's like fourteen bucks for something like this. It's got a plastic handle, but a nice big thick chunk of uh, ceramic there. Smaller ones like this are like six bucks. Not super high quality. Um, if the ceramic gets dirty, like this one here, you can see is is kind of brown or gray from uh, the metal. All you got to do is, is get a piece of, piece of Scotch-Brite, something like this. And uh, I usually do it with water and you can do it with soap. I mean, you're not going to hurt the ceramic, but you're just, you just have pores on the ceramic. Basically, it's like unglazed porcelain. It's very similar to the bottom of a, of a coffee cup. This is actually, you know, I mean, you can sharpen your knife on the bottom of a coffee cup. Um, but anyway, something like that, just clean it up. You're literally just going to scrub that off till it's nice and white again. That's all it takes. You can use about anything you can see, then it would be clean. Um, but anyway, something like this, all you got to do uh, is figure about the blade angle you need. Um, it's Because you're not removing that much metal, the blade precision doesn't have to be as close as it does by things like um, diamond stones and, and wet stones. And of course, there are a lot of um, devices like this Smith's here. Um, I've got Spyderco and a few others, WorkSharp. Um, you can see on the WorkSharp ceramic, it does give you a, an average blade angle right there. It gives you, a, gives you an idea. So anyway, this one, you're just going to rub it. If you want, you can learn to kind of go pretty fast. You can see there's a little tiny bit of discoloration there. That's, that's the metal coming off. If you angle this too close, you'll end up scratching the blade like that. Um, this is a really nice one. This is a Victoria Knox. Um, I assume it's made in Switzerland uh, or Germany, excuse me, uh, overseas. Um, and it is actually a, a little bit coarse 
but a ceramic. They they have a groove here for sharpening, you know, fine things like fish hooks, etc. But anyway, this one's great. Um, you can go towards yourself if you trust yourself. Um, so I've just been kind of sharpening that up. Let's test it now with the paper. Oops, get a piece here. Just a little bit. It's a lot better than it was. You know, if I work at this a little bit more. Now eventually you're just gonna hit a point of diminishing returns where it just is not gonna get sharp and that's when you need to actually remove more metal and sharpen it. Oh yeah. See, that's all you gotta do. Get a better piece here. So you saw it from not being able to cut paper to being able to cut paper. And in fact, I can dull that up again on my piece of wood here. Try it again. Still a little bit cutting. Grab another one of these. And just lines it right back up. That's all you got to do. I, you can also use you know, wood to strop it. Um, it's better than nothing. Um, I use sometimes river stones, you know, little things. Just You're just lightly realigning all of those little metal flakes, you know, at the microscopic level back in line. Um, stropping where you're running it over leather or on some, uh, some like this Benchmade, which is also a work sharp, they actually have a stropping plane on here and it's designed, you go, you don't cut in it towards it, you cut away from it, which is why there's no angles on this, doesn't matter. Um, and then that's when you can get things to razor sharp. But something like this to me is worth its weight in gold. Sharpening steels are also good. Um, and I'd recommend, you know, go to a Goodwill or something and you can get a high quality one. Um, because most people don't know how to use them. They have them, they came with a knife set, and then they just end up donating it. And then, you know, you're nice and, nice and sharp again. Need a new piece of paper here. There we go, see? Um, but I recommend the, uh, the ceramics, and I really like this one, the big, big thick one. Um, but if you want to just start out and get something that's uh, strong enough, this one here uh, for about six bucks is a, is a, a great beginner one. Anyway, um, this one here is about $12. Great for portable EDC. Um, and you can also use this because of the way you can hold it. Um, if you wanted to work on axes and things, that's what I like about it. Um, I can keep it in my kit as long as you're careful. Uh, but I'll put links for, like, these three down below. Anyway, with that, Doc out.